Uh, welcome to the lounge and the Forex report and uh, just starting on some of the larger charts uh, here. Um, of course, you probably already know about the uh, ECB and uh, its QE. Uh, the debatable point, of course, as you've probably heard on the news, is how much are they going to put into into their system and I would you know the ECB normally do things in small uh, increments um, however the uh, Swiss bank the SNB has uh, you know unpegged their uh, currency so I would imagine that they've got some sort of heads up on um, on a reasonable amount of money uh, moving in uh, from the ECB uh, and this would obviously create uh, you know some spikes in the market and possible uh, turning points and I was actually sort of more inclined to look at um, uh, turning points for most uh, currencies because uh, in most cases most currencies have uh, completed certain structures and looking at the monthly chart here for the euro uh, we've been looking at um, a bit of a complicated uh, pattern through here, but at the end of the day, uh, an A wave here, a triangle for a B wave here, and then a C wave down through to here. The 61.8 retracement level from the whole move up through here on the monthly chart from the low down here, uh, 60, it comes in about uh, roughly around 1.10 here. Uh, and the uh, other concept that we normally look at is A equals C uh, at uh, $1 uh, here. Uh, so um yeah so wave a here equaling wave uh, c here so the other point though um which is more important is actually counting the structure down so we're looking from b to c c waves here would have five waves through to here and that seems to be the case at the moment so let's have a closer look at this so moving into the uh, just the weekly chart here, just to give us a big, uh, you know, just give us a know where we are within the large account. So from B down to C here, we're looking at um, this is primary wave C here, intermediate wave five. So we're looking for five waves uh, down through to here. The fifth wave has moved rather sharply here. So um, yeah, in picking bottoms, it's, you know, it's, it's a dangerous business. And what we do need to see is we do need to see an impulse wave to the upside. So just breaking that down further here, we've got <clears throat> intermediate wave three and four here, and we're looking down for the last, uh, last, uh, structure here and also looking in five waves as well here and we'll also be looking for five waves in the fifth wave here from four to five here as well um the one 115 five second strongest number halfway between 110 and 120 it's going to give support anyway but once again what we're looking for is the particular uh impulse wave structure to the upside here so just drilling in a bit further here from this particular wave four here, you can see that we've got uh, a little bit dodgy here, but basically it's one, two, three, four, five to here for wave one, back for wave two, three, four, and five here uh, to complete the, the full structure here. Once again, uh, just drilling in here a little bit, um, there's, there is a little bit of an, an option here in that um, I've got wave one coming to this point here and we've got one, two, three, four, five here. So that's okay uh, in terms of the look and feel of it. Uh, wave two here. Um, wave, this, this structure here does bother me a little bit here because even though I've counted it um, wave three to here, four to here and five to here, if I look at this closely here, we've got one, two, three, four, and five here. So in reality, we could also put um, wave three here, wave four to here, which would pull back to wave four of one lesser degree, which would be this wave four here. So this market could work to this particular point here and then have another move down. But with that money coming into the, into the Eurozone, 
uh, on Thursday the press meeting is uh, so um, I would imagine there's going to be you know more upside so I think that we could look at the possibility of this low being in place here and like I mentioned we do need to see a five wave structure to the upside here and we don't have that just moving in here to the one hour chart we've got three waves here which would make that wave four alternative here and wave three alternative uh, to here and then wave five there so we need to be a little bit careful and in being careful I think one of the points is that obviously the uh this consolidation through here if I just come into the highs and low the, the sorry the opens and closes here then this particular price point's got some meaning so um, currently it is resistance if this if this this consolidation uh, point here became the support here then it would be a more positive uh, view to the upside there and you can look to go along with the stop under this low here because then we'd be looking at this as wave one and wave two here and this progressing to the upside here okay um, just have a quick look at the US dollar before I move on just in the bigger picture here the daily uh, this is a uh, futures contract here so obviously uh, you know they, they come and go each quarter so um, we're looking for from way four here we've got one two three four five for the third back to the fourth and then you can see here if you've got a close eye for Elliot we've got one and two and three and four and we're looking for the fifth wave up here so sometimes you know on strong well quite often really more often than not actually <clears throat> that when there's you know a strong uh, uh, headline news uh, item coming uh, onto the board then uh, sometimes wave structures uh, towards their tops and bottoms don't always look perfect so um, but we are expecting some sort of top in in play here so just be mindful of that I've had a closer look in through here uh, just on the two hour chart and one of the things that we can look at is that 93 uh if you if you remember is important three is always important because it's always the top of group one so we've got 90 down here then 91 92 and 93 and it's always a bit of a struggle for uh nine the number three 93 in this case top of group one to become support if it does come support then you know that we'll be heading higher into 95 but um as it stands uh, that's what you'd be sort of looking for there if this market moved back down below 92 here then we can call that top into play there this spike business through here makes it a little bit difficult to count five waves up through here uh, it's possible in terms of one and two and three and four and five bit of a long shot let's just see how this develops here but by all means we should be looking for a uh, a, a, a turning point as such but anyway okay the Australian uh, US market here once again we're also looking for a low here as well but we also need to be a little bit mindful that um, we could also have this um, current low here as a turning point but once again we would also need to see five waves up as well what we have been looking for over the week this is the weekly chart here from wave four here <clears throat> and of course there's there's actually different ways to count all of this whole structure up through here um, but the main point that we do understand is that um, that we know that this whole structure here that uh, is moving across trading level one here uh, the one the one dollar here is actually uh, a, a corrective pattern and we are looking for a low so yeah um, and 80 is always a good space for place for a market to bounce back on once again we are just counting the five waves down through to here now the low could be in here already or we're going to get another low in here so let's just take a look at what we're looking at so far in here so i'll just go back a little just go back a second so uh, from this fourth wave here down to the fifth wave here that's what we're sort of focused on at the moment we're looking for five waves in in there uh, from wave four here and we can see that we've got a nice one and two here it, it's then I would assume that we're looking for one and two and all the way down to three four and five here and this being a fourth wave back here uh, and then a fifth wave down through to here um, 
and I may have got the count in, in here wrong somewhere, but um, I think one of the important points here, if you're going to take on a long-term uh, trade here, is also using group one as well. So uh, we've got 80, so we've got 81, 82, and 83, one, two, three to make group one, very simple. If support is found on top of 93, a tested support, a retested support, then we can look at um, confirming a low being in place here, um, but otherwise we need to treat it as corrective. So I have got it corrective at the moment in terms of an A and a B and a C wave here. And in this little C wave here, I've got five waves in through here. Um, but I do want to point out that um, this is not quite right because this particular pattern in here is actually corrective and we should see a move higher through here. So we will be moving uh, this up through here. At the same time, this can also be counted as wave one here, back for wave two, and then a more of an impulse wave developing through here. If we just drill in here a little bit further to have a look at this particular area in through here, we'll be able to see uh, it a little bit clearer through here. So as you know, I've got up for A wave, B wave, and C wave here for the wave four correction. But I can see that this little move in through here uh, this whole move here, if we want to look at that, is actually corrective here. So um, as long as this low here stays in place, that one there, then this market will push to the upside there. We can expect further highs and we could probably start looking at this as a wave three here. Um, yeah, but at the same time, you know, in the bigger picture, we need to see five waves, an impulse wave to the upside. And realistically here, we don't have that. We just have a three wave structure which is uh, corrective but this is a little uh, yeah just well it's corrective so we should see a little move to the upside so up for one back for two we should see new highs coming through here so you could probably trade that long as well there's going to be lots of opportunities uh, <clears throat> uh, into this week coming up to the ECB meeting on the Thursday it could be a fact of um, you know buying the rumor uh, sell the fact, uh, yeah. So just be uh, mindful of of that. There, don't don't be don't have exposures that you can't handle on those day on that day though. Okay, um, the another Aussie here, the pound Aussie here, and just looking at the weekly chart here. So uh, with this weekly chart here, we know that this is. Uh, a corrective pattern through here. We know that this move up through here uh, is looking uh, it's looking like three waves to the upside. That's what it's looking like, um, not five. It would have been nice if this market had held above this high here, but it's got overlapping wave structures here. Not that that's a big deal, but it does present us with um, a best fit account and this would be an A wave to here, a B wave to here and a C wave down through to here and that would be a larger B wave here before we see a move further up through here. So let's, let's just drill in through here. Of course, um, let's just drill in through here. This is daily chart here, just a little bit more sort of detail. In this wave B down to C here, we're looking for five waves down. I haven't labeled these uh, in here just yet uh, on this particular chart, look a bit squashy. Um, so this is it here. So just coming back here a little bit, we're looking from the top here down for one, back for two, and then from wave two here, um, we're looking for five waves down, uh, down here, we're looking at these green waves here to count those five, one, and two, and then the strong third wave here in five waves, and the little black waves here down for the third, the fourth, and the fifth here, and then the fourth here as in three wave correction coming back to the wave, not quite the wave four, one less a degree, but certainly this one here. And then we've got, um, this is not finishing very well through here, but that's okay in a way because because we've got the extension in wave three here, we've got wave one here, which is a bit, um, well, it's not very long, is it? So we shouldn't expect wave five here to be that long, but what it nice to see it do is to take that low out here, which it has done, um, so it's not truncated. So it's quite possible that we could put this this wave five of C of B in, in, in place here and see a move up here. 
But that said, we don't have um, we don't have a five wave structure moving up through here. If you look closely, we can just see a three wave structure so far. So it's it's a little bit early to call that. I would think that this particular number here, the 185, would be in the number five. As you know, second strongest number. It is the resistance. If that became the support, then we could look at trading long from that point there and moving up from there. I'll just see if I've got a smaller chart in through here. I have here, and it does it does appear to be corrective so far through here. So even though I've got this called in this low here, I'll take that with a pinch of salt. I think that we um, we can certainly come low. We're not looking we're not looking at this particular structure as a um, you know, it's a nice, clean uh, five wave structure to the upside here, are we? You know, we're not looking at, it's not looking like that. It's got all overlapping wave structures here, making it corrective. But I don't think that we should give up just yet on, on it. If uh, the other markets are going to, to, to move, we're going to see, <clears throat> we're going to see all sorts of uh, sharp moves and, and strong volumes. Obviously, the US market's closed uh in the last session um so uh we'll see we'll, let's just see how things progress but we're just getting a general idea here now the euro australian is in much the same case as well here in that just on the weekly here we're looking at the market simply working across the 150 here um we've got uh the a wave here we've got a b wave here in three waves very clean and corrective here and then we're looking for five waves down through to here as well. Normally we would see the C wave come below the A wave here, especially because it just retraced, you know, say just roughly, you know, the 62% area through here, but bringing in the psychology of, uh, of the medium trading level here as well. Uh, so, but still we're looking for five waves down through to here, and that's what we'll count once that's done and dusted then uh, we'll see a move higher from that point. But just drilling into that on the daily here, as I mentioned, five waves to the downside here. And we'll just drill into that a little bit further here, but that just to give you a picture. So here we've got wave four, and we're looking for wave five moving down. And it does appear that we've got five waves down here too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five here. Once again, we don't have a nice clean uh, impulse wave to the upside. Uh, as yet, but that's something that we'd be looking for. Once we get five waves, we get the counter trend here. The five waves and the three waves is called a motive wave, uh, but that's what we'd be looking for here. Um, so we don't have that just yet, but it's quite viable that it's it's falling into place. So I haven't put wave five here, but I would like to. It is looking good as an impulse wave to the upside here. Um, yeah, so I don't know. What can you say? Buying on the low without confirmation is dangerous business, but all the markets have seemed to be sort of heading that way. This is it on the 15-minute chart here. So this move here through, I haven't labelled this, but um, this move here is corrective, so we will see further upside here. Um, if you're going to put a stop in the market here, then it really just needs to be under this low through here, but um, preferably less contracts and come under the 72 here under the real tested support at this at this point here so we can be working higher here as well so plenty on the long side moving on to the euro uh, yen and the pound yen just on to the starting with the euro yen here I haven't done the intraday charts uh, on here, but we're still looking at the same picture here as well, just on this daily chart here, eight hour chart, same thing roughly. Um, but from the top here, we're looking for um, five waves down, the one, the two, and then five waves down in green, which would be one and two, and then down to the third wave here, uh, haven't got this labelled here, but there's one and two and three, nice fourth and the fifth down to here for the third, the fourth and the fifth for the third here. So in this particular case here, I'm looking for uh, a wave four and a wave five. But I, I would also be quite uh, careful here too, because this, this blue five wave structure here, this third wave here, could actually be wave C. So instead of labeling it wave one here, it would be an A wave, a B wave, and five waves down for the C wave here. So 
in all in reality this could also move up through here but I don't want to I want to take the conservative view on this for the time being uh, in that um, if we find the 140 the closest largest number here as support then obviously um, this would be wave C here so um, yeah that's something that we need to look at and the, the other reason I'm calling this is a possible wave C here is because of um, the pound uh, yen now with the pound yen here it's got a much nicer ABC pattern down through to here and I'm putting it as a primary count here in terms of an A wave to here a B wave to here and then five waves in here for the C wave here and we've also pulled back to the 50 well 50% 50 is the top and 61.8 is the bottom when I put that circle there it's just a simple way of doing it I like to keep charts as clean as possible because this Elliott business and everything else is all really quite complicated so the simpler I can make it the better um, so um, however we also need to assume that the, this count coming down here uh, can be a third wave a fourth wave back to 180 and a fifth wave down through to here uh, and if that's the case if we do get five waves down here well then you know that we're going to get uh, from here we would get an A and a B and a C and then we'll get further downside from that point there But as it stands we can look at this C wave here and we could move straight up from here uh, Once again the 180 support would start to remove this fourth wave here and uh, This third wave and we could leave that in play there um, another point to support this particular wave C here idea is this particular structure in this little area here which I'm going to drill in now if I've done my homework I have so uh, this first move down through to here I've labeled it wave A as I mentioned before and the reason for that is because I can count five waves here one two three bit of a spike four and five here okay so that makes it uh, five waves uh, correction and then another five here so in fact this is an a and a b and a c wave here because we've got because this is a, a three wave structure then it makes the whole correction that we're looking at down through to here corrective a regressive um, uh, structure so uh, we've got an a wave a b wave and five waves for the c wave here so once again here we can be pushing straight up through here as well um, so that's looking quite chirpy on that side here so all these markets can have turning points in them a top in the US dollar and most of these other markets are moving to the upside now um, the other point here too is that I'm thinking about not placing text in the um, in the day ahead report and one of the reasons for that is because um, I would like to spend a little bit more time on on charts and I feel that putting the text in place with the, with the Videos is, is not such a bad idea, but it's kind of doubling up on my time And I think my time can be more valuable if I put a little bit more work into the charts not only the Forex but I want to start making some stock videos as well um, as such but I still will be putting trades out in terms of um, in, in the trade section okay um, yeah uh, that's not final yet I'm just putting the just sharing my thoughts about um, not putting the text in there alrighty um, that's it alright well thanks for uh, tuning back in cheers